and you are looking live at a Falcon 9 rocket on the launch pad at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. At 6.01 this evening, the aerospace company SpaceX will launch a Dragon cargo spacecraft on a NASA mission to resupply the International Space Station. Good evening and welcome everyone to NASA's Kennedy Space Center for our live coverage of the launch of the 18th resupply mission for SpaceX. I'm your host, Jennifer Wolfinger. We are about 16 minutes away from the planned liftoff of a Falcon 9 rocket from the coast of Florida. The mission? To fly much needed astronaut supplies and research experiments up to the International Space Station. In the final seconds nine, now. Eight, seven, seven six, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition and liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket and the Dragon spacecraft. On the heels of the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11's return from the moon, we send more science and supplies up to the International Space Station. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Looking beautiful so far. Great shot from the bottom. Power and telemetry nominal. Approaching max Q, maximum pressure on the rocket. Vehicle is supersonic. I'm going to quickly throttle back. Vehicle is experiencing maximum aerodynamic pressure. MVEC engine chill. So they begin chilling the engine on the second stage to get it ready to go. Beautiful shot there, looking up the tail end of the rocket. And there's the cape getting smaller and smaller. Approaching main engine cutoff. And you'll see separation just a little bit right after the engine's cut off. And down they go. Nico. There it is. Stage separation confirmed. And there goes the booster, which is coming back to land here at the Cape. And back ignition. Stage one boost back startup. And there it is. Great shot of that booster coming off as it performs the boost back burn. Well, you can see it clear as day in the sun. That's the first of three burns as that booster gets ready to come back down. What a great shot. And there's the second stage. Proceeding into space. Stage one boost back shutdown. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. See the grid fins being deployed? That's to help steal, steer the, uh, the booster back down to Earth. Acquisition of signal Bermuda.
So you can see the, the little exhaust there that uh, is steering that booster back down. And that from inside the second stage. Still got a shot of that booster coming down. Now it's vertical. That's a great shot. And it is falling fast. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. So SpaceX confirming that everything's looking good for both the booster that's falling back as well as the second stage, the spacecraft that are uh, getting ready to enter orbit. It's hard to keep a track on that booster because it is falling fast. That's a great shot, though. All right. Well, we're going to toss it over to SpaceX and let them take it from here for the landing of the first stage as well as the rest of the mission. Go ahead. Thank you, Daryl. In order to make its way back to our landing zone, the first stage is going to execute a series of three burns. The first is a boost back burn, which you've seen earlier, which is meant to slow the rocket down and orient it for re-entry. Shortly after this first burn, as you saw, the grid fins deployed. Those are the fins located near the top of the first stage, and they're deployed to help guide the rocket during descent. Following the boost back burn, Falcon 9 executes an entry burn, which is coming up shortly. It's to slow itself down before hitting the dense part of the atmosphere. Now last is the landing burn, which happens just before touchdown, providing the booster a soft descent to land. And our four landing legs also deploy at this time. You just heard the call out for the stage one entry burn. That'll go for about 10 to 15 seconds. Stage one entry burn shut down. At this point, both the boost back burn and the entry burn have been completed, so we're just waiting Good on that final team. landing burn coming up in about 10 to 15 seconds. Let's keep an eye on the screen to see if we can see those engines light. It should be coming up in about 10 seconds. FTS is saved. Stage one, entry transonic. <laughs> Stage one, landing burn started. And you can hear the landing burn just started. There, you heard the call out. Watch those landing legs deploy coming up shortly. Stage two has entered terminal guidance. There you can see those landing legs deploy. And touchdown of the Falcon 9 at our landing zone Falcon one in Cape Canaveral. Okay, so shortly here, and now that camera view at the top of the second stage that looks into Dragon's unpressurized cargo portion. Uh, there you can see it. Dragon separation confirmed. Acquisition of signal, Newfoundland. You can hear the cheers behind me. This is Dragon me. CC on countdown one. Dragon right. senses separation. Off Dragon goes Thanks for, for its ride. mission to the International Space Station. Uh, the, the Dragon team doing a little handoff with Falcon there.
This is Dragon CC on countdown one. Dragon is deploying its solar arrays. A great shot there of Dragon beginning its solar array deploy. Expected loss of signal in Bermuda.